Understanding Forensic Toxicology Forensic toxicologists play an important role in determining an individual's cause of death. Since different drugs are toxic at different levels, it can be very difficult to determine what drug resulted in an individual's death. The following guide explores how forensic toxicology works. A forensic toxicologist is usually brought into a case if the cause of death isn't clear. For example, an individual that experiences blunt trauma in a car accident and dies will usually only be tested for the presence of drugs and alcohol. However, an individual that dies from an unknown cause or demonstrates erratic behavior will usually be tested for the presence of toxins. Different drugs are toxic at different levels. While alcohol poisoning can be tested with a simple blood test, it can be difficult to determine the cause of death for other substances. For example, an individual who dies from cyanide poisoning will only have trace levels of this chemical in his or her system. Since cyanide is toxic in the milligram range, it doesn't take much cyanide to kill someone. Because of this, there will only be very small quantities of this drug in an individual's blood. It is also important to understand that a forensic toxicologist may have to test a cadaver for the presence of thousands of unique chemical signatures. While there are some automated testing methods that can be used to speed up this process, it can be very time consuming. For more information, please visit environmentaldiseases.com today.